some so often to take the nail polish off them. Doing them gold because I've got a video planned to come all set up. We'll be doing a video today for you. I'm going to be wrapping presents today. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to make hot chocolate while I do it. Anyway, let me get the chat up. Let me get the chat. I'm just after eating a rolling chicken. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me get the chat. There we go. And I'll show you what I've got in B&M's. If you don't know, B&M's is a shop in the UK. And it sells everything you ever want. You go in for one thing and you come out with a trolley full of stuff. And it's all beautiful, beautiful stuff. Hold on, he's a bit squinty. There we go. Randy, good morning, lovely Randy. Good morning. Uh, let me see, make sure it's on live chat. Volume's down there. We are. We're good today. That's good. There we go. <clears throat> so, I'm going to show you things that I got from B and M's for gifts. And I know that a lot of people, well, a lot of people have got a lot of money and they buy big expensive gifts and things like that for people. I can't really afford big expensive gifts. So, they're modest gifts. So they're just nice gifts for Christmas presents. That's that's what, what I do. So, I um, hope nobody slags me. <laughs> You know, it wouldn't be the first time I've been slagged anyway. Hold on, the dogs are coming in. It's freezing, it's freezing. Muse are good morning, lovely Muse. Look at all my all my reds came out. I'm gonna to need to I'm gonna to need to put my red in again. I've turned into a blonde. <whistles> Blondes have more fun apparently. Let's see. <laughs> I'll wait till Poppy comes in. <clears throat> I know I'm like kind of strawberry now. you never know what colour you're gonna get. I'm like a box of chocolates from Forrest Gump. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get with me. I'll wait till Poppy comes in and then I can relax a bit. She's out gallivanting. But I'll show you the nail polish that I bought myself. I bought myself this this nail polish set from B&M's. Raffi girl, good morning. Raffi girl, I was at B&M's this morning. <laughs> You know what I mean? You, you you go in, you go in for like a couple of things and you come out with a trolley full. So anyway, right, so I got these, look, this is the colour that I'm doing my nails just now, but I messed up a couple. So I'll go over them once I show you all the stuff. So I got them, that was um, £4. £4 for them. Bargain, an absolute bargain. Ah, oh, you do your own nails. Yeah, listen. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help myself doing a bit of ASMR. Right, I'll show you the stuff that I've got myself. Wait till you see this. It's so cute. Absolutely cuteness of a ready. Raffy girl is, is brutal, the now names. <laughs> Every aisle there's goodies on it. Look at this guy. I could have picked the boy or the girl. Look, I, I, I'm not, I've not got the money to buy both of them. It was only £5 though. And it's biscuits. It's cookies it says. Christmas cookies. Gingerbread biscuits. Pip, good morning lovely Pip. Good morning. Pip, I was at B&M's. <laughs> I'll show you though. Got a couch full of stuff here. Couch full of stuff. So I got myself, look, I couldn't resist that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a wee gingerbread. Um, contains gingerbread biscuits. So that is as cute as any. How could I not? As I said, there was the girl one and there was the boy one. And I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll buy one. So I chose the girl one. Isn't she cute? So I got that for myself. Ah, oh, dear. Right, and I bought these. These were good. £2.50, look. Oh, it's dangerous, Pip. It's dangerous. <laughs> and guess what happened to me? I came home. I'd bought two rolls of wrapping paper. I've only got one roll. I've left a roll at the checkout, obviously. I've left a roll in my wrapping paper. And I can't be bothered going back for a roll of, so they can just keep it. <laughs> so look. Cutlery holders, Santa. Look at the kids, anything. 
But this poppy and I can close it, hold on, it'll be back in a minute and just close the door. Because it's quite chilly. Where was it? Oh, I showed you them. They're cute as anything to put your wee cutlery things in, see? And they had reindeers as well. Park, good morning, lovely Park. Good morning. So I got that. Wait till you these are beautiful. Oh, one's a bit squished. Oh no. Right, it doesn't matter. Christmas crackers. Oh, look at these. Seven pound. Look at rose gold. Look at them. They're going to be beautiful on the table. And there's the stuff on the back. I want the cards. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds that sounds interesting, Musa. Yes, see when you're when you're eating it from a festive table, it does taste different. It it just it does. Oh yes, it's going to be wonderful. So there's the beautiful crackers, aren't they gorgeous? Rose gold. So I had well, I didn't have to get them, but I did get them. Right. Right for my wee dad. See, there's Jack Russell glitter everywhere. For my wee dad, I got these. Look, four hats. See the Jack Russell glitter? It's everywhere. They've got a Jack Russell anyway, so. But three nice woolly hats. Jack Russell glitter everywhere. They were in the bags, you see, because there was things for them. So I got my dad them for his, his birthday and Christmas, so. Um. Oh, that's great, Pip. You don't need to cook. That's good. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy getting up really early and starting the dinner early. It's like a wee Christmas tradition for me, so I enjoy it. Right, I'll show you what I got, Mr. Making Poppy. Poppy's had her present. This is this is the kind of person I am. I can't wait. Poppy was in the bag. She knew there was a toy in the bag for her. It was meant to be for a Christmas, right? But I've already gave her it. But I'll show you what I got the same thing from my mum and dad's dog. So for Mr. Mikey, I got this. Look at this for Mr. Mikey. Look. A lovely soft, soft blanket for his baby. Wait, it's a Christmas one. Isn't that lovely? For Mr. Mike. So he's got a nice soft, soft blanket. <clears throat> the present that I got Poppy... And uh, this is my mum and dad's dog's uh, present. Look. <laughs> it's a beautiful. Look at that. Look. See if I squeeze it. It's, it, it squeaks, but I don't want it because she'll be. Hers is over there already dead. Hers is dead over there. Stuffing's hanging out hers. But this is a great toy. Uh, it was £5, this toy. But see if she sees it, she'll be wanting to kill this one as well. One's already dead. And for Flashy, you know how I love my Flashy. I've already bought her. She already got a flamingo toy off me. So I seen this one and I thought I need to get her. It's another flamingo. But it's for Lee. It's for Flashy. So I got that for Flashy. And of course, she, I know she likes her Dreamies. So I got her a wee packet of Dreamies as well. So that's Flashy's present. So I'll put them there because she's going to be in the bag looking for that. She knows she can hunt down toys so she can. Right, where am I? Okay. How <coughs> much was this? Did I take the price off? I can't remember. I think it was about £10. Um, this is for my daughter's... Maybe, was it more than £10? It might be more than £10. I can't mind. I got this for him. It's um, after she've that's for my daughter's boyfriend. After shaving, shower gel, <clears throat> shower gel. So that's what he's getting. My mum, this was about 
seven pound or something like that. I can't even remember how much this was, but it was around about that price. But look, it's this is for my mum. Look, it's lovely slippers. I don't know if you can see the slippers. Look, the slippers. Lovely pink slippers, and then some body wash and stuff like that for her. So that's for my mum. For me, I love Zoflora. If you don't know what that is, it's disinfectant, right? It's disinfectant, and you can have all different smells. And look at the size of this one. This is this is going to be awesome. Winter space. Look at the size of this Zoflora. I think it was about five pound or something like that. This one is it that price? I don't know. Get size of that bottle. Let me smell it. I love the smell of it. Oh, there's Miss Guy. Good morning, Sky. Good morning, Sky. If you need me at any time, day or night, send me a wee message. Yes, it smells very, very spicy, winter spice. So that's what my kitchen smells like when I do my kitchen. Because I use those for it all the time. <clears throat> right, for Sophie and Amanda, just as a, just as a wee thing, because I've got them pyjamas. I've got Sophie a light that's got one of the lights that's got bubbles coming up in it. She wanted that, so I got her that lamp. And I got them th this. I don't know what one's for Sophie, what one's for Amanda. I'll do the behind my back thing. It's just wee candles. Look at these, aren't these cute? It's just wee candles, look. They smell nice. It's nice and... It actually smells like cotton or something like that. Candy Castle. Doesn't it smell like Candy Castle, but it smells really nice. So that's either for Soph and then for Amanda. It's the same one, but it's just a wee pom different pom-pom. Hmm. Yep. So wee candles for my girlies. As I say, I'm going to be doing a, a wrapping video. Um, for my mum and my brother, as well as their gifts, I always like to get them a wee box of biscuits or something like that, do you know what I mean? So I got them these biscuits. Look at these wee guys. Shortbread. It's shortbread. But aren't they as cute as anything? So I got two of them. One for my mum and one for, one for my brother. Um, so I've got that. Uh, for just now, see my wee air freshener that thingy's out. I got this because this I got this the last time. I think it's B&M's own. Or maybe it's not, but it smells awesome. Um, so I've got that for my wee sprayer. I know yesterday was terrible. My heart was breaking for you also, Sky. So I'm here anytime. Anytime. Don't think, oh, it's, she'll be in her bed or whatever. Just get... If, see if I, if I hear it, I'll answer your, your texts. So don't ever feel alone. Right, um, for my dad as well, no, he's got his hats. I got him this. It's just a wee Nivea man's thing. Harriet, good morning, Harriet. Good morning. It's just a wee, wee set, a wee Nivea set for men. Um, Poppy, no. I got these because I've got lights everywhere. I've got lights all over the place, so they're mine. What were they? Three pound for the sparkly ones and two pound for that. Are they, is that colour changing one? Just, just wait. Just wait. So I've got them. They're for me. Let's see what else we've got. I got my, my daughter Amanda. I hope she's not watching, but I see if you haven't smelt this perfume. It smells amazing. It's called Vanderbilt. And I used to wear this years and years ago. So I got her a big bottle, a 100ml bottle I got her. And it all, oh, it's, if, if you can smell that a mile off, you can smell Vanderbilt. It's the most beautiful perfume. So I got that for Mandy. This is for me. And this... Oh, Harry, I don't... Do you know what? I'll, I'll need to... I'll need to get a peel box one day, but that's very, very kind of you. Rafi girl, yes, we've had a bit of a cold. Me and Peter's been a wee bit. There's my gold. Did, did I say good morning, gold dust? Good morning, good morning. Yes, Harry, I'll need to do it. 
this is just shows you what a fat bee I am, right? <laughs> Especially at Christmas, see Christmas, I'm like, F it. Right, if I want a bit of cake, I'm going to have it and I'm going to blame it on the festive season, right? So, in the UK, it can't be Christmas without after eights. No, everybody's house has got after eights. Yes, enjoy your cake. I, I say at Christmas time, enjoy it. But look at the size of this tin, <laughs> right? And see when you open it, it's not got one, it's got two boxes of after eights in it. Two. And I can smell them. They're the most wonderful thin mints ever. And look at the box. Box is beautiful. It's London. Look, there's, there's the London Eye and Big Ben and Tower Bridge. Isn't that beautiful? A beautiful, beautiful tin. Look, that's gorgeous. You know, there's a, a London bus. So, absolutely beautiful. So, that, I got it for the box, not the chocolates. <laughs> Pure lie. I got it for the chocolates. Sky, they're the most beautiful. In fact, I'm going to... I'm going to share one with these of the now, right? Because that's what I'm doing. That's what that's what I'm like, right? I'm, this is just for a video. <laughs> uh, yes, my tingle pink. Good morning, good morning. Do you know what? See, my big tree, this is the last you'll probably see it because I'm going to give my daughter, Amanda, that tree because, as I said, it, it took a lot out of me to put that tree up because it's so big. So I think next year I'll be getting just another six footer for in there. But I don't know what colour I want, so it'll be all new next year. So this is the box of the after eights. Mm. This is look, their best if you've got a cup of coffee. There they're in there. Look at that. And they come in their own little package like this. Very posh, you see, very posh. So they come in, in that little envelope like that. And this is them. Mm. Mm. Oh no, Celia, good morning. Celia, stay in the dark. I've had quite a few migraines. The only thing that helped it was staying in a dark room in a damp cloth, a really cold cloth over your eyes like that and of course painkillers if you can take painkillers mm. my they're my favorite chocolates after eights so <laughs> as i said me being a fat bee do you know what i mean <laughs> i saw a multi-pack so i thought i've got to have it so but there you are go be stuff in my face now, I got these, right, and I'm splitting them up and I'm giving everybody a pair of Christmas socks. So, I've already gave Peter his. There'll be a pair for me. That's for my daughter's um, boyfriend. I know he likes the colour green because he supports the same team as me. <laughs> and that's for my other daughter. So, and my two daughters, have I said my two daughters? So my two daughters, my two daughters, my son-in-law and me and Peter's got his. So we can all have festive toys. Much was that? That was a bargain, that. Much was the, much was the socks? Does it, if I mix them up? Look, I don't know. They weren't, they weren't expensive anyway, so we're all going to have festive toys. And this is some of my wrapping paper. I got more wrapping paper, and as I, as I said, I've left it up in the shop. Came home without it. Pip, you need to relax now. That's Amanda stopping work now, Pip. So you'll be you'll need to just settle down now and just concentrate on the barber and everything. Oh, your poor cat. I know, Celia. Oh, and I want to I want to say as well that I'm so sorry to my gorgeous Heather Marshall. They lost their wee, their wee dog across the Rainbow Bridge, their wee dog, um, a couple of days ago. 
and they're devastated as you can imagine. Um, so I, I just and I know how heartbreaking it is. We had a we had a, a year of heartbreak with our wee dog we had before Poppy. I'll tell you the story in case you haven't heard the story. She was a wee Jack Russell as well, and for the minute we got her, she never had a solid poo ever, right? And she was her ears was she was having infections in her ears and stuff like that, and we kept taking her to the vet. And then all of a sudden, every time she was trying to do a poo, see the tube of her bum? The tube was actually coming out of her, her, her bum, like that, her back end. And it was bleeding and everything, prolapse in the collar. So we had to take her and we tried everything. We, were sp we spent thousands, but that didn't matter. Um, we'd got her special food that had no scent and no taste. It was just like jelly. She wouldn't eat it anyway. We tried her in chicken and rice. We tried her in all these kind of medicines. They even went, put her under and they, they sewed up her back end a wee bit. It didn't help. Um, and then we had her a year and a day and then she, she crossed the Rainbow Bridge and it was devastating. I was I was, I was, was done. So I was with that. Um, so it's a, it's a very, very painful thing. But the only comfort that I took, and I've said to Heather and Marcelle as well, is your wee animal went to a good home and you treated it like a princess or a prince. And, you know, it was treated like royalty, your wee animal. Some wee animals go to bad homes, they do. Some wee animals go to homes that don't look after them and don't feed them and don't treat them right. And when M Molly came to my home, I treated her like a baby, like I do them. They were treated like gold, do you know what I mean? So that's the comfort that I took is knowing that she had came to a, a nice home and... Uh, not a home with lots of money, but a home with lots of love. You know what I mean? So that's what I would say to MD that's like Heather Marshall. I know that you've you've gave that wee dog a wonderful home. So take you know, take that and then um, try it's it's gonna take a while before you're okay, but you'll get there and then you can look back at nice times and stuff. Cause with a big Dalmatian um before Mikey called Harvey. And the reason we called him Harvey, because he, James Stewart's film, Harvey, the big white rabbit. And when we got Harvey, he was a big, he was white and he had big long leggies for a, for a dog, you know, like, because Dalmatians are quite big. And uh, so we called him Harvey after that. And, you know, see, after we bought Harvey, um, the 101 Dalmatians movie came out. So everybody was going nuts and buying Dalmatians, but... We had him before that. Elena, good morning to you. Good morning. Elena. <laughs> I was at B&M's for a few things. Look, is it, look what I bought myself. Wait till you see this. Look at that. Look at the size of the after eights. They're all going in my belly. <laughs> That's where they're going. Elena, I, um, I shared your, your post for your, your journals and if anybody's looking for a unique gift to give someone this year, please check out Elena's channel. Elena, you can drop your link in the chat if you want. You can go and take a look. Beautiful, beautiful journals. Eh, journals that you'll keep forever. Or if you give them as a gift, the person's going to love the, love the journals. Um, yes, they'll be okay. They've got... They, that's Heather's the one that's got the wee cat called Jimin. And he's still a wee kitten. And I swear, that kitten should have its own channel. I watch a man on here called um, Lex. And he's got a wee ginger cat called Cinnabon. And I watch his channel. I watch every video he does. And all he does is things with the cat. It's just the cat that's on the camera. Now and again, you'll see Lex. But it's, 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 it's the cat. It's, it's, the cat's away hunting. And he's giving the cat a treat. And... There's another cat in the area and, you know, it's all, the channel is just about that and he's at 99,000 subscribers. So I've said to Heather Marshall, make a, make a channel for Jimin, the, the shenanigans of Jimin, because people would love to watch that. I would watch it. I'd watch it. I know, we all love you, Sky. We all love you. And you're beautiful nature and looking you're absolutely drop dead gorgeous as we say in Glasgow do you know do you know what else we say you're a 10 this is what the youngians say now there's not me 
This is what the young people say. You're a ten hen. That's what they say. You're a ten. <laughs> that just means you're a ten out of ten. You're a ten hen. I'm I'm about a, a two two and a half maybe. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm, I'm about a two and a half or something. You know. Look at my hair. Look how much of the reds came out. I'm going to need to. I'm going to need to do it tomorrow or something like that. Um, just shows you the, the swimming and stuff like that. It just takes it takes it out my hair. Right, so is that everything I got? Is that all? I think that's everything I got. Yeah. So this is Poppy's present is over there dead. It's dead already. <laughs> oh my God, Elena. Yeah. Did you read my post? <laughs> Did you read my post that I put on um, Facebook <laughs> the other day? You know what I'm like? You know you know what I'm like reading and stuff like that, right? I'm not very good at reading and stuff like that. And anyway, I was flavoured on Saturday. Elena sends me a message saying, what colour do you like, green or brown? And I, I, I wrote back, red, right? <laughs> she said again, no, I mean, do you like green or brown the best? And I sent back, red <laughs> and then I read it and I was like oh my god and I wrote I'm an a-hole I'm an absolute a-hole sorry Alina I want to see that I, my, my mind it, it jumps whole paragraphs of sentences and stuff like that <laughs> oh my goodness Sky well She's listen. She'll be. She's a. She's a dafty then. If that's what she thinks. If she's thinking, it was you that caused it all. You know. I, I, if it happened to me, I wouldn't be blaming the girl. I'd be blaming. I'd be blaming the man that I was with. This is Sky. What does she does she think that you, that you came over for France and put the the man's arm up his back and says, "I'm going to hurt you're you're going to be with me, right?" She just doesn't. She doesn't want to um, admit that he's cheated. That's what she doesn't want to do. She wants to blame everything else. She's one of one of the kind of ladies. See, some some people some people can't be alone. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that that that's a, a bad thing or not. But some people always need to be in a relationship kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm quite happy myself. Look, I get into enough trouble sitting here myself. Never mind. If, you know what happened when I, I did have a date. And you know it went, it went tits up really. <laughs> uh. Sky, you had no idea. Listen, if she doesn't want to believe it, that's up to her, right? You've told her the story, and now she can do with whatever she likes, right? Just, just don't respond block don't respond um forget them and then some some beautiful boys or man's going to come up and just sweep you off your feet and treat you the way that you, sh you should be treated treat you the way you should be treated <laughs> geraldine good morning thank you for coming in thank you for coming in yeah, no, I, I would, I'd be blaming my man. See, if it was my man, I'd be blaming him. Do you know what I'm... But some, some last girls are like that, I suppose. They, they all blame other people. But we're all here anyway, Sky, and we all love you. We love you, so we do. Yeah, I'm happy on myself. <laughs> <laughs> and let, let's see if Aquaman we all know that if Aquaman was to come stumbling up the path it'd be, it, Peter would be going to his friend's house Peter get to your friends mummy's got business <laughs> let mummy talk to the man <laughs> where you go leave me in here it is hard I know that it's heartbreaking and my heart's sore for you Sky. my heart's sore for you it's best finding out now. Do you know what I mean? It, it could have come over and spent days with you and all the rest of it. It would have been harder like that. 
See, chants and bees, that, you know, that's, that's, chants and bees. I don't know how they can live with themselves doing things like that, playing with people's emotions, do you know what I mean? I'm an open book. See, if, if I'm talking to people on that Facebook dating thing, and they ask me something, I, I, like, what size are you? I'm fat. I'm, I'm quite fat. <laughs> but I've got a good sense of humour, do you know what I mean? I've got a good sense of humour, but I'm, I'm pretty plump. I'm too honest about it. I'm too honest about things, I, I suppose. It will take to be here. I'm here every day. Yes, Alina, thank you for putting that in the chat. That's the way I feel as well. He's an effing a hole. That's what he is. And was, was, is he crying to her going, <laughs> she made me do it. She made me send texts and stuff. Well, she's a, if she wants to believe that, then she's, she's foolish. Because I wouldn't be believe in it. I would not. Listen, if any of you found your man was texting some other girl and, and you know, like a, in a relationship way and you found it, I'd be, I'd be like blaming him. He's the one that's in the relationship. Oh, well, see, she doesn't know anything then. She doesn't know. I know plenty of people that fell in love online. I know plenty, plenty of people that fell in love online. And moved to the other person's state and stuff like that just to be with them. So, that's rubbish. She's just... Listen, Sky, block, 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 block. Elena, do you know, see, Christmas time, I really don't care about, about the belly now because... It's the festive state season after all, and you know the after eights. Are, I'm going to be oh a oh a cup of chocolate, a hot chocolate, my after eights and mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and I've got gin. Did you see my gingerbread girl look? Look, ah, sweet Elena, look at this. Now the head comes. Is... Oh, that's the lid, right? Okay, I get it. The head's the lid. Because I was wondering if it's maybe two lots of thingies, but and that's I'm so it's so cute. So cute. So so cute. So much was a I was a hundred pound. I was a hundred pound today. But Mr. Mikey as well, look at that. See? That's my baby's blanket. And a lot of people will be saying that's that's no very good presents and stuff like that. Look, there's thought put into my presents. Don't slag them. <laughs> Don't slag my presents. And the other thing that Poppy's killed, it's over there. So I'm going to be doing the video. I've got everything laid out, but I need to fix the. In fact, I'll do that just now. We'll fix the nails. What did I, what did I do with the? See. No, I can't find the thing. What did I do with the... Oh, there it is. Elisa, good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, Sky, don't even listen to it. Just listen, don't even read it. Just block. Do what I done with the, the guy that was threatening to kill me. I put, see, his emails and stuff like that go straight into the spam. I don't even look at them. I don't even look at them. What a year, eh? I could have never predicted death threats and stuff like that. Well, there you are. I wonder if it's just me or other ASMR artists get threatened with death. know everybody's cup of tea but you know to murder me my god that's taking it a bit too far that's too far there pal that's a wee bit too far the whole murdering thing i wouldn't have liked to see him try anyway oh the police station i was at the bill wasn't it at the police station i was at farm foods this morning as well and that's right across for the police station so oh i had a good look i had a good look in there was a big police van I was thinking things, of course, like, like Officer Bob, you know, seeing me from afar and saying, "Let's let me talk to you." 
let me interrogate you in the back of this van for half an hour. I'd say, okie dokie. <laughs> yes, that's right. He threatened her to. He threatened all of you, actually, Sky. He said all my moderators were going to get it. So he did. But I know who he is, and he knows that I know who he is now. Do you know why? Because Sophie phoned him. <laughs> Sophie phoned him. And he wouldn't answer the phone, and then he apologised. So. Listen, some people would need to realise that just because you're behind a computer screen doesn't mean that we can't catch who you are. Especially when you go to the police. Listen, don't be trying that foolishness with me, because I will. I'll go to the police and you'll get into trouble. <laughs> oh, Elisa, this guy, I'll tell you... I, look, I was very excited in that interrogation room. There was a lot of laughter. I bet you that interrogation room's never heard laughter like it. Oh, Alison. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're feeling better now. Um, oh, see, the, the COVID. Um, I, I, I've been having the sniffles, see, and I've got, I've got the test there. I've done a test yesterday. I'm negative. But, um, you know, you're, I'm always worried about it. I think we're going to go into another lockdown. Touch wood, we don't. Because that was driving me insane, the lockdown. See, not being able to go up my swimming and stuff like that, it messes with my mental health. I need, I've done 100, 100 laps I've done today. I, look, I've been busy since 6 o'clock. 6. Oh, pa Pip, any excuse to go to the police, you know me. <laughs> Listen, any excuse... Any excuse now about that police station, you know that. You know what I mean? And maybe the fire department too might need to know, I don't know. <laughs> I might need to go down there and say to them, just to be aware, because, you know, I don't know what way he was planning to murder me. He could have been trying to murder me with flames or something like that, so that would be a fire department issue, wouldn't it? So I might need to go down there next time as well. <laughs> Take Sophie with me. <laughs> Take yous, of course, I take yous and we would have a wee video and stuff like that. Ooh. Pap, I, t I said, I said the first time, I said, don't push me. I says, I'll be going, if you push me, I'll go to the police. And he pushed me. <laughs> right then. Yes, yeah, so Lena will get, Lena will get them for you, Sky. Lena will get them for you. You do not hear Sky. Here you, here. And your girl, your girlfriend are knocking in a minute. Maybe I'll whisper something in your ear, hen. Glasgow kiss. <laughs> uh, see, no, I don't, cheaters and stuff like that, I, I cannot, I cannot be doing with cheating. Or cheaters. Uh-uh. Nope. And that is, that's how he's cheated. That's what he's done. He's bloody cheated. And he's got caught. And now he's going to try and blame someone else. It was someone else's fault that I was doing it. It's not my fault. Somebody else's fault, hen. And she's been a dafty going, oh. If, if it was my partner, I would, I would, wouldn't be looking at the girl. I'd be looking at him. It's him. It's him that she's in the relationship with. You're a single girl. You're, you're allowed to have dates and stuff like that. And if somebody tells you they're single, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm getting wet. I'm getting wound up now, Sky. I'm getting look. I'm a bit booking a flight. <laughs> I'm a bit. Where's my boots? Where's my boots? I need my boots, my Doc Martens, where's my docs? Get my docs on. That's fighting talk now. That's me all I'm all I'm all wound up. Like the mind the gas man. That's the way I was. I was like, what happened my glasses? Don't make me take my glasses off. <laughs> uh, oh we call them chancers. That's what they're called. Chance and bees. That's what they're called. Up here. And no, no, that that's that 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 one strike and you're out for me, that's it. One strike and you're out. Do you know why? Because forevermore now I'd be thinking that he was up to stuff. So the relationship would be done as soon as anything like that happened. Because I would think, oh, he's been in the toilet a long time. Is he in there on the phone to somebody? He's working late, is he? I wonder if he's with her. 
Oh, that would be going through my mind. So strike one at your out. Kind of like the death threat, you know what I mean? That was, uh, like, you, you don't do that. To, if you do that to me, I take my laptop and phone and everything to the police station, right? And now, look, I'm going to tell you, sometimes I watch German movies. Sometimes I do. I'm a dirty girl, after all. <laughs> so I told the Officer Bob that sometimes I like to watch, uh, on a Saturday, I like to watch these kind of movies, Officer. So he knows, he knows all about me now, he knows. <laughs> he see me see. If he's ever went a date, he knows, I say to him, about the, he knows the bungalow. He knows, and he knows my dress anyway, so. <whistles> Officer Bob, we can come and watch, we can watch a German movie together, if you want. <laughs> or make our own, I'm not, you know, I'm not, that's all right as well. I tell you, I'm a dirty person, what can I say? What can I say? Do you know what, Sky? Just block him now. Don't even speak to him. See, if she gets in touch with you, just ignore it, block it, put it in the trash. If he talks to you, block it, put it in the trash. And then just you start afresh. Afresh for Christmas. You never know what Santa's going to bring you. Santa might give you a handsome, handsome guy for Christmas. Edge of ASMR, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Yep, just block. Don't even respond to them. I wouldn't respond to them. I'm kind of in that situation myself. That I've said to someone, do not speak to me ever again. And I meant it. So, I'm in that situation just now, Sky. Mm-hmm. That's it. See, but once, once you, you do something really bad to me, that's it. I can, you know, I, I'm done. I can't, I can't forget it. He has gold dust, yes, gold dust, a coward. That's the word I was looking for. A coward, he's a coward. A coward. You know, blaming someone else. Who, who, who forced them? Who forced them to send texts and stuff like that? You're in France. By God, you must have a long arm. You must have a long arm, Sky. You must be like Mr. Stretch. See, if he, if he, if Mr. Fabulous, even. Mr. Fabulous for the, um, oh God, the Marvel thing. It's got the big, long, stretchy arm. We, 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 we stretching to Ireland to make him text things to you. Uh, as Elena, that's, that's right. Just block him. Just block. I would be just blocking his ass. In fact, I've, I've actually done that, as I said recently. To a particular person they've been blocked. <laughs> some things, some things, you know, I can forgive, and some things I cannot forgive at all. So, anyway, I don't even want to think about my situation. I'm happy in my own wee, wee place here. With all my wee things, I'm going to be doing my video. <sighs> Wait, it's, it's Sky's arm, Elena. <laughs> it's like that. Forcing this boy to text. Because, do you know what? Um, Elisa's right. Do you know what? See if he's doing it with her. He, he, would do, he would have done it with you. He'd have done it with you. A wee cheating. So, you know, that's what they do. See, we see when they, they get the, the thirst for cheating. That's what they do. It bec I think it becomes a game to them. Do you know what I mean? I think they get a buzz out of just the fact that they're cheating. Right? They're just getting a buzz with that. As well as when they're with the person. But the whole cheating thing, I think they get a wee kick out of that. So yes, just Sky, just that's that's the old that's put out the trash. Just put the trash out. It's trash. Put them out in the trash. Put them in the bin bag. Put the lid on. There we go. So that's what to do. Just um. It will hurt though, Sky. It will hurt. And you've all you'll be thinking, what what did I do? What did I do? Not you done nothing wrong. Don't think for one minute you done anything wrong. You're a single girl. Thought you were talking to a single guy. Right. You done nothing wrong. It was him. And see his daft girlfriend for believing, oh, somebody made you do it, eh, honey? You know, even if 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 there was 
happening. Did she make you do that? No. No, she didn't. It was all him. That makes me mad that I, I can't be going with cheaters and stuff like that. That's People that break my trust, do you know what I mean? I have a, a very hard time. Um, I do always forgive because my religion and all that comes into it as well. And I do always forgive people, but it doesn't mean I forget, if you know what I mean. Not mean I, I do forgive, but I can never forget. That's the thing. And if a, a man or woman done that to me, I would... Um, I would forgive them, but I'd never be able to forget it. I would never be able to trust. Trust is a big thing as well when you're in a relationship. You've got to be able to trust who you're with. The person that you're with, you're meant to be able to tell them your innermost secrets and things like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm glad you're away from away from now, Sky, because that's a, that's a big alarm bells right there. And as I say, they would they would do it to you. It would do it to you further down the road when you said mate and stuff like that. You yeah, well, yeah, at least it's right. One day you'll wake up and you'll be perfectly all right. Or you'll meet someone else. And him, he'll just, he'll just be a, a distant, bad memory. You'll meet somebody else that will treat you like a princess. And I'm not talking about showering you with gifts and money and stuff like that. That's never bothered me either, like money, you know. I've never bothered with that, but um, these income is, or, I, I couldn't care less about that. Um, it's about their nature and stuff I, I like. I would much, as I said, see my, my dating profile I've got, I would much rather go for a picnic. I would, somewhere nice, like under a tree or or, you know, at the beach or something like that, then a big, big swanky do in the Ritz Hotel or something. You know, give me a nice wee picnic any day. Uh, well said, Elisa. <laughs> Sky, me and you can drill. Uh, look, I sat this morning drooling. I, uh, uh, to change my top, I drooled that much. Watching um, David, <whistles> the French guy, Sky, the French guy, Oh, he did his top off this morning and he was in like a wee shower thing and the, the water was dripping down. It was, it was like, I'm going to have to watch it again. And my mum will need to watch it again. <laughs> I'm drooling. But this, this man's, this, look, even that, this man's got a beautiful girlfriend. But if he was to say to me, Linda, let's do it, I would say, no, thank you, because you're in a relationship. Even with Aquaman, I would, I would turn him away because I'm not that kind of gal. I'm not that kind of home wrecker. But you were in a different situation, Sky. You were single, thought he was single, you done nothing wrong. Is my tingle but I'm happy. Look, I've got my wee doggies and stuff like that, and I've got my children, I'm going to have my grandson and stuff like that. So if love comes along, love comes along. But do you know what? I mean, I'm still on the dating site, so I check it now and again. And, I, and I'll say, hello, nice to meet you and stuff like that. But see when they start saying, going to send me a full body picture? No, I'm not going to send you a full body picture. We're still chatting and stuff like that. Full body picture will come later on. Anyway, I'm on YouTube. Everything you want to know about me is out there. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Watch, watch a few of my videos and tell me if you like me or no. There, there's more to me than my, my figure, actually. And especially seeing you... I'm going to be 50 next week. Right, so... I want somebody that I can sit and talk to about things. No. Oh, Rafi girl, that's fine. Rafi girl's my wee neighbour, so she is my lovely wee neighbour. Rafi girl, I'm dead excited about this grandkid. Oh, my goodness. You'll probably see me out and about with a pram. So you will. Because I will... And that will be good for me exercise-wise. Um, because, see, when I had a pram, it was good to walk because I had something to lean on, right? See if I've got something to lean on. I can walk a wee bit further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking... The, I'll probably take you along with us. I'll take you and we'll, we'll walk up and down the path. Um, you know, that'll, that'll give me a wee bit of exercise as well. 
is the bab a wee bit of fresh air and stuff like that. And I, I want to show them off, of course. I, I want to show... This is my grandson, everyone. <laughs> I'm a granny. Yeah, I like being a granny. Oh, can't wait. So, Mandy finishes her work this week, as I said. And me and Sophie have already planned that what she's doing. She's going to be sitting here, Amanda. And Sophie's going to be sitting there. Belly out, get the belly out, and then me and Sophie are just going to sit with our hands on the belly. Belly time. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pip. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. See, is my tingle pick? I think the same thing. Somebody would, you know, they would end up pissing me off. Because I'm up, I'm up at four o'clock every morning, right? And some more, see, on a Saturday... See, when I'm doing my makeup videos, I'm up at 2 in the morning on Saturdays, right? And I put on um, Live on Patrol. And because uh, I've got to do, I, I go for a shower and then I dry my hair and then I do my makeup and then I set everything up and then do my video. And then by that time, I come in here and I've got to do all the editing and stuff like that. So if somebody stayed with me, they would be, they, they would be getting fed up with that. How early. And now I'm in my bed at 8. <laughs> Do you know what my girl said, and me being me, my, my mind, Sophie said my mum, me, me and Amanda are doing something for your uh, 50th, right? And I said, did you get me a stripper? And she said, no. But obviously that's what I'm thinking, seeing she's oh, a, a nice, a nice policeman coming in and taking his kit off. You know, no party or anything, just me sitting myself, right? On you go, pal, just do your thing. Right? Is there any audience? No, it's just me. On you go, do, do you? That's right. <laughs> I think the stripper would be a bit uncomfortable, wouldn't it? Be expecting lots of ladies, and it'd just be me sitting myself like that. On you go then, pal. That's right. <laughs> I'll put the dogs out like that. Close the door. <laughs> yes, nothing wrong. My son doesn't like strippers. My son doesn't like that. I said I'm not. If I'd a good body, I'd be doing a bit of stripping myself, but, you know. But, unfortunately, I'm not. I've not got a good body, so I'm, I'm doing the world a favour by keeping my clothes on. Oh, I've never seen, I've never actually seen, like, um, I've seen some strippers, but it's always been ones that you phone up for somebody's do. Uh, somebody's birthday party or that, do you know what I mean? My mum went to see actual strippers <laughs> ages ago and um, she said the man had on about 20 pairs of pants and he, he actually flung a pair of pants and somebody in my mum's work caught the pants, right? And then the next, when they went to work on the Monday, they did his pants up on the notice board. Now that I was, I was quite young, and I was going, why would you take his pants? But now I get it. Now I'd be like, oh, <laughs> face mask. <laughs> I would not using it as a face mask. I would not do that. That's something I wouldn't do. But see if the flavouring's gone. You know what I'm like. I'd be like, look what I'm doing. I've got a new face mask. That's me. And people will be going, you're a dirty bee. And I'm going, I know, I know what I'm. <laughs> oh, Elisa, they could do close-up personal stunts for me. Look, see if if they were doing if they were doing that, like, I'd forget about the audience. I'd forget. We used to get him. We used to get, I've got business here. We used to get. They could do a stunt with me anytime, right? I know that they lift ladies up and stuff like that. They would, would need to be a few of them to lift me up, but I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's about how they, how they move their bodies. But see, Patrick Swayze, Patrick Swayze had it all, didn't he? Patrick Swayze had the face, the the personality, the whole the whole thing. And by God, that man could dance. He could dance you on the the dance floor, couldn't he? Oof. To the go film, see that that wouldn't that would be all right as well. For I wouldn't mind that. That's not something I would. I, Mary that used to stay next to my mum and dad, she would she wouldn't want to see that. But I'm I wouldn't. 
Wait, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. Pip, Amanda had a feeling on like a rib cage as if it was ripping or something like that. Um, she was saying, but I think it's just because the belly and everything's all getting that big that she says it's in a certain way she moves, she feels as if it's ripping. It's just because you are getting bigger and bigger. Baba's getting big and fat and plump now. Oh, Dirty Dancing's brilliant, isn't it? Dirty Dancing's great. But, do you know, the, the girl that was in... Jennifer, was it, her name was, the girl that was in Dirty Dancing, she changed her whole appearance. She doesn't look the same. I liked her nose. I, I liked her nose, and she, she went away and got a nose job, and she doesn't look, she doesn't look the same anymore. You know, people mess about with their faces. So just leave your face alone. Your face is beautiful. It's, it's the same with Mandy, Pip. But it's the same with Mandy. Yeah, she was... I loved her. I thought she had a lovely nose. But obviously she's... She didn't like it and she went away and got a nose job. Oh my goodness, Elena. See, she was probably fit before it. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't. I was, I was, I was the size of a wheel when I was pregnant. Size of a wheel. Yes, yes, my tingle pink. That's what. That's what made her. Her. That's that's what made her her. It was like Freddie Mercury with his teeth. Freddie Mercury, and he refused to get anything done with his teeth, and I'm glad he did refuse to get anything done with his teeth, but. Um, he, you, you know him with his teeth and stuff like that, and not in a bad way. That is a lot of exercise, Pip, nine hours a day, and Mandy's the same because she's got quite a physical job. So I'll be happy when she stops the work. I said to her midwife, I want to take Amanda and just wrap her in cotton wool, and just say her stay there in February, but I can't. But that's what I'd like to do. Yes, I know. She was beautiful. I don't know why people feel the need to... And some people all look the same, don't you think so? It's a bit like um, Stepford Wife's, that film. Do you know what I mean? Go for girl, good morning, go for girl, good morning. It's a bit like that. They all change their appearance. They all end up looking the same. Elisa, the second of the second 22. All the twos. I hope, he, I hope she goes in that day because that'd be a great date of birth. Two, 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 two. Isn't it? And my birthday's on a two, so it's, it's a lucky number. Oh, Pip. See, this is it. It's, once it goes in, it's got to come out. <laughs> I said that to Amanda. Once it's in, it's got to come out. And I think the bigger you get and you realise, oh my God, this baby's got to come out. But, I'm, you know, it's, we're in trouble here. Oh, you don't finish work for nine weeks, Pip. But listen, Pip, see if you feel as if it's getting too much. Tell them. Just tell them it's getting a, it's getting a bit much. And if they're if it's a good employer, they'll they'll understand. Um, I keep saying to Amanda if she was if she was struggling, just stop. But I'm I'm going to be getting belly time all the time now, which is great. So I just can't wait. Yes, she's got everything ready. She's got everything ready now. We're, we're, all we need now is the child. <laughs> Do you know what film I watched the other day too? And I was like, oh my. Rosemary's Baby. Right, that's not a good one to watch. <laughs> Rosemary's Baby. <whistles> yes, I know, Rafi girl. Once, once you've had the baby, um, all that pain that you had been through is worth it a million times over yeah just say to your employer Pip if it's um... but yeah but just waiting all we're doing now is she's just getting the baby chubby now I think all the internal organs and everything's alright because she's what 30 weeks now 30 weeks something like that she is she was 28 weeks when I took her for the antenatal and that was about 2 weeks ago so that was she's about 30 weeks Yes, 
Sky's going to be okay. She's going to be fine. She's a wee fighter, so she is. She's a wee fighter and she's got all us behind her. See if I need to get a flight. If I need to get a flight to, to Ireland to find this guy. You don't need my Sky. <laughs> Look, I came from Glasgow, pal. Oh, that's nice, Pip, that they've done that. I know, Rafi, it's, it's, dead, it's dead exciting. Now all she's doing is making the baby plump. I like plump children. Plump, plump, plump. I love to kiss into this wee bit of their neckies. And also, see when they're a wee bit older, I like to get this bit of their neck and go... <laughs> to it. <laughs> and they laugh. Oh, I'm going to have a great time. Listen, I tell you, the joy that's in my heart just thinking about this baby been born. Can't wait. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I've been on for an hour. There you are. I've been on for an hour. And I'm going to be doing my video now. I'll try and be relaxing for you. I'm going to try and set the camera. I don't know what way I'm setting the camera up, but I'll set the camera up some way that you can see what I do with all my presents and just wrap them up in the bows. But mate, there you go. A full, a full wrap and roll. A, a full roll of wrapping. Left it. Look, it matches my nails, kind of. Left it up in B&M's. It was a pound as well, a pound. <laughs> Rafi girl, I miss, I miss being pregnant as well. See, once, I mean, it's the most wonderful feeling. Yes. So, listen, I'm going to go now and uh, do my, my video, but I'll need to do my hair as well. So, I might be pure red tomorrow when I come on. Again. So thank you all very much for coming in and spending time. Sky, if you need me, you can get me anytime. And I love you all very much. And I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Mwah.